Hey, hello. Welcome to episode number three of the People We Love podcast with your host, Adam Choi. Th- that's me. Hope you enjoyed that last interview with Lauren Blair Donovan. I liked it. For this here episode number three, I'll be speaking with Joshua Charisma, who works in television production, and we've worked together a little bit as well. And this guy is quite adept with the camera. Josh is also a fitness guru and a trainer. But who we'll be talking about today is Will Smith. Yes, that Will Smith. Joshua doesn't know Will on a personal level or anything like that, but Will had such a big impact on him growing up, especially with the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air show, of course. So without further ado, my conversation with Joshua Charisma. So it's good to see you, Josh. Thanks for uh, coming into the studio, for sure. Yeah, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, for sure. It's uh, how you, Well, how you doing? First I'm pretty all. good. Yeah, it's uh, a good day. Uh, it's, what is it, 7 o'clock now? We're winding down, but yeah. it's nice to hang out with you. For sure, for sure. So uh, I'm glad that you were able to make it. And um, what did you first think when I approached you uh, about possibly being on this show? When we had the conversation, like, I... I I didn't have that many family members and it, like not that many family members that inspired me and to the extent that uh, I'd have to say Will Smith has inspired me. Yes, uh, it doesn't mean that you, you know? don't love your family. Per no, se. exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, like, that's one of the things I'm going to tell yeah. people is that, you know, just whoever you choose to, if you, you know, to speak about on the show, that doesn't yeah. mean it's not at the uh, slight of anyone else. So yeah. Oh, feel like free if, to give a shout right, out cool. now if you want to. to oh any no! Shout members. out to my family. <laughs> like um, he, uh, he loves my charisma stuff. family. I have a big family. Like I have a sister, I have a mother and a father. You know, they're all great. Um, I came from a divorced family, so that's why it's a little bit harder to really sure. get a grasp in a actual family member to to inspire you when you're you know, when you're young like that. Yeah, so yeah. um. Yeah, and that's and really, um, if we're going back to the time when you told me about this like a couple of weeks ago, that's what really hit my heartstrings. Like that's what um, uh, it it kind of like it. There's a lot of people that don't have families like that. Sure, that don't come from close, super close families or, or yeah, yeah. What have you. So um, so it's um, it's good to open up that open up a wide net sure. for those that are role models. So basically. If Will Smith agrees to it, he could he could be your 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 dad or your or your uncle. Or, yeah, for a while, like yeah. Jaden Smith, I was kind of upset with him because, like, damn, I would do a way better job uh, of being a son. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Perhaps. That's, what, that's what I felt. That's what Perhaps. I felt. Yeah, um, but that's when he was younger, fourteen. Now he's older. He's getting a little bit up there. Um, I like his kids though. Um, Jada is a, is a wonderful woman, and he's smart, and he's they're both raising kids like very very um uh in a very good fashion and yeah people should live up to that yeah i mean i guess it's kind of, can be hard from afar to know exactly what goes on in the daily lives of, of these people but certainly from from afar yeah but know, like when you like... have like interviews when you hear how willow and Jaden talk about life yes and about they, experience they, they're thinkers Yes, they're thinkers for their age they're phenomenal oh, you yeah. know and it's because of their parents i think so whether you whether you agree with these people or if you agree with their pants parenting styles or whatever yeah. the case may be, but for sure you can tell, you know, when Will and, and their kids speaking, they're they're well thought out for sure. Which exactly, is, yeah. Which is you know somewhat rare in today's day and age. With yeah, you know, and yeah, and you know, if we're gonna keep digging deeper, it's because it's and I think it's where Will came from. Um, I I. I really, I, he, he inspires me. So I look up a lot to him and I like looked up at like biographies and such like that. And, and when he was younger, there's a story that's very, very well known. I don't know how much you know about Will Smith, but pretty much there's a story where there's a summer where he and his brother, they're like, uh, his dad, their dad is, um, telling them to make a brick wall. And pretty much he's telling him like, Hey, you got to make this brick wall for the whole summer. And make sure that it works and that it's like, this is when they were kids and they were doing some kind of like summer construction work or something will smith and his brother um i'm not sure why they were like pretty yeah. much his Some father kind of project yeah it was work. a project that their father just gave them yeah. to build a wall brick by brick and what they learned by the end of the summer like they built it it was strong and they were proud of themselves and what they learned is that you had to lay every single brick perfectly and with intention sure and what he learned is that every single day is a brick and you have to just do it take your time do it right, and you're gonna have a solid wall at the end of the day. Metaphors, 
Yeah, no, of course, it's a metaphor. It's about life, you know? And, like, it, it's, it's things like that that, you know, could make him... He just turned 50 years old this year, and it's just crazy that he did so much within 50 years. For like, sure. Yeah. No, I, I remember reading that, you know, regardless of what the task is or how menial or boring or uninteresting the task is, just the time spent that a person can do completing a task from start to finish upon completion gives the brain some kind of like serious like pleasure stimuli or whatever the hell you know what i mean what's the word i'm looking for uh, uh so the like dopamine dope, yeah well, yeah like it's similar to almost like a drug in the That's, sense yeah that, like what the pleasure the human brain gets from just completing you know a task is yeah no most definitely like um that's a good thing about goal setting you know like yeah make a list and if you keep making those goals the smaller they are like it's just little pieces of the puzzle right. and then you'll you know you get there i think that's what good. i learned i think it's good to have goals in the the short term and the long term and i guess everything in between but yeah, let's uh let's marathon. hear a little bit more about your first uh your first uh experience you know with with will smith the, the oh yeah my okay sure yeah everything producer i'm sure, you know, <laughs> I'm sure he's got a million slash lines yeah exactly yeah he has so many hats um so were you, where were you you were yeah i mean oh, i'm guessing was, maybe his music or the fresh prince of bel-air uh, fresh prince of bel-air was, was first my first yeah um i was a young kid um you know the 90s i'm a 90s kid i was born 91 and uh, fresh prince of bel-air was the show uh it's just it's it was um so you must have seen it in some reruns if you were born oh, in 91. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the show yeah. itself actually started in 92 or 94, yeah, like run around there. I saw some of the uh, premieres yeah. for sure. I was, I, was, I was watching Barney as a little kid, like as a little baby, yeah. you know, so I wasn't there from the get-go. And you grew but up in... I grew up in Miami, Florida. Miami. Yeah. But you, via... Born and raised Miami, You're Florida. Raised, My parents are from Haiti, though. That's yes. right. I wasn't sure if mm -hmm. you were, were. I forget if you were born in Haiti. Or no, so I'm a Miami. black man living in America. Yeah, yes, yeah, black and proud. America. Live in America. How could I know? Yeah, it's almost obligatory. Uh huh. Okay, so, so that's why Will Smith is such a big uh, he inspiration. He had a song to me. about your city. Yes, he did. Look at yes, that. He did. Look yes, at he did. Yes, he did. And knowing, I had that album too, Big Willie style. Knowing, uh huh. Jiggy. Yeah. With it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> getting jiggled I with it, Miami. Too, sure. Um, uh, just the two of us. Yeah, oh yeah, I was yeah. all on the album. Yeah, oh yeah, that's for sick. sure. That was that was popular. Yeah, popular. So I'm uh -huh. sure people are still uh, playing that. Okay, so you're 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 a young lad in in Miami. Uh huh. And you're you know you're probably how how old are you when you first saw, started seeing either reruns or <sighs> you know late like, seasons? I'd have to say like when I'm like six or seven, but it's really when I was in my teenage years. That like I'd watch the reruns, yeah, and that's what I'm really formulating. Like, who am I? What can I do? And all that, and just seeing a young black, very charismatic person. And the thing is that my last name is Charisma, and it's so hard to live up to a name like that. And whenever I think of Charisma, I think of Will Smith. Yeah, let's go on a tangent. Tell me more about that about that name, because every time I, you know, I. Oh, uh, it's mention, it's my last name. Yeah, it's, it's like charisma. Like, is that his real name or something? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I've heard it all my life, you know, because it's it's you know it's what you get. Um, I didn't pick it, but you know, so it's something that you kind of struggle with, um, because you're like you're a young kid and you're like, oh, how can how can a twelve year old kid be charismatic? How can like a seventeen year old yeah. kid? Be charismatic, you know, like it, it's and possible. And if you're not being charismatic, like, it's, it's like, what's wrong with you? You're not. Yeah, living, yeah. You're, not you're your like, name. oh, you must have a lot of charisma. I never knew what to say. Like, you know, like growing up as a kid. Like, I'm, I'm older now. I'm 27 now. I'm about to be 28 in a few months. Um, but you know, I'm a little bit older. I, you know, I, I could call myself a man now. Sure. You know, and now I could say that I am charismatic. You know, and but it's something that I've worked for. You know, and it's, oh, it's only because of my name. Yeah. You know. Well, that's, I mean, if it, if you turn, you're not that you're turning a negative to a positive, but you're turning your situation or whatever. You yeah, know, your it, name you make yourself. To. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure that, you know, you must have heard every single bad joke and stupid question. And yeah. I always think when stuff like that comes up that, oh, I must, I'm being original right now. I'm that guy who thinks <laughs> like, oh, they never heard that before. I do the same thing too, you yeah. know, like whenever um, I met this little girl named Charlotte and I was just saying Charlotte Webb's yeah. jokes and all those things, you know, yeah, like. I'm sure she gave it right back to you. Yeah, well, oh, she was a little girl, so like she didn't really know, which was nice, but you know, anyone else, they'll Yeah, you're having a down some sad shit. day and she's yeah. wondering why you're not being uh, charismatic. Okay, so what about yeah, some, right? of these, some of these early fresh, when you first started getting into it, uh getting when, to the show and, and oh um well it's just um i uh 
I'm a man who loves ladies, and in the show, he's also he a said. ladies' man. Yes, yes, yeah, of course. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> and in the show, he's a ladies' man, and it's it's something that I still think of to today because um, I'm a bachelor and I'm going for these girls, and I just try to get my fresh prints out. Yeah, when you know, you like I, just, yeah, it's just like it's because it's playful and it's fun. Yeah, and I'm sure that ladies out here would like to hear the things that. That people that he was saying in that show, you know, it's just like not in every episode of our it's you know, in not in every episode. Year, sometimes he gets he slapped. gets slapped, you yes. know, sometimes and he sometimes hey, goes too far. But that's cautionary tale. You know, yeah, and it's it's life, you know, and it's cool. Like um, you know, you gotta learn. You gotta learn. And it's it is like learning with him. Like he was in the show, he was a kid from Philadelphia. He he didn't have a father, he was raised for, with a mother and he was getting bad in school she tried to help him out by sending him to like a rich family you know like you just you this just is summarized a show. the uh, soundtrack this, yeah the, uh, the song, <laughs> what's philadelphia born yeah. and raised in playground you know like that's it's like uh, but it's it's a lot of people you know a lot of people is that story Can relate to that story for sure for sure too much too many in some in some regard but uh no that's uh that's interesting what about early episodes do you remember particular episodes that stay, stick out to you um uh earlier episodes uh funny moments when when he learned about his father and I them, that was that was because that's like he cried and he was yeah. like he was like yo he, he's learning how to act now you know <laughs> it's crazy like being older and watching it now because he didn't know how to act like later that's when i learned about um him uh him being like a, a rapper and losing all his money like he got a grammy and then he blew all his money oh, i didn't even know that about oh him. he blew all his money he was broke he was dead broke, and that's when they picked him up for the Fresh Prince, and Fresh Prince saved his life, you know? He would be nothing without that show. I do believe that. It definitely propelled him mm-hmm. to, yeah, to stardom, yeah. new yeah. heights, for sure. Yeah, like, um, Quincy Jones helped him out, you know? And that's another thing for Quincy, you know? Like, Quincy's a man, yeah. For sure. Um, um, yeah, I remember that particular episode when, his, it was the one where his dad, like, Ving, Ving Rames, was it Ving Rames? Like, playing oh, oh, possibly, I, yeah. I think so. Okay. Oh, and you know what? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, I'm, it, I'm not that it, great with that. It, it wasn't. But um, no, I remember. I do remember that episode where his dad kind of came back into his life. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Will Smith then, was hesitant yeah. to get excited about it. And then he no, he, he was like so excited for yeah. it. He wanted it to be real. But then he he saw through the bullshit because his dad was like, oh, hey, you know, I'll be right back. I just got to, you know. Yeah. And it broke it, it broke him. And it's just like, I, I think like him as a character probably changed after that. Like, you know, like when I saw the show, I was like, wow, this is Will Smith after he met his father. Or this is a Will, like, you know, the character after he met his father, you know. He Real just life, I think, definitely up. met met art where life art met life, life met art. Definitely in yeah. that, in that yeah. scene and those, some of those big That was pretty cool, yeah. I think that probably was the first time he ever cried on the show. If, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it was. He, um, he, and cried, he, did a good he job. cried later. I think there was some crying later. I do remember. Another, um, there's like a hops, hospital scene. I asked with Carlton. Yeah, I yeah. know the show pretty, do. pretty, it seems pretty so. well. Yeah. The, what, they were it Carlton seems got so. scared. They were getting robbed. Then Carlton bought a gun or something. Yeah, and we'll yeah. Say, what are you doing? Uh huh. Yeah, I think. Damn, will, you know the show. Yeah, I okay. do know the show pretty well, for sure. Um, what about other episodes that stick out or anything um, else about Will Smith? Uh, uh, within the show, uh, within the show, what really spoke to me? Let me see. Um, no, really it was, it's just a playful show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was a playful show that, um, just let me come to age as a black man, you know, trying to make well, it. Well, it was, I feel like pretty much, you know, to some degree that, you know, to my knowledge was the first real sort of hip-hop influence in, you know, mainstream television. That's true. Like, obviously, you had, like, you know, that other dude who's in prison yeah. now in the 80s who did the uh, the Jell-O commercials. Oh, Bill Cosby. I don't know if you Bill know who I'm, I don't know, I don't I know think who I'm talking about. You're hella dating yourself right now. Yeah, but but Fresh Prince was definitely a totally, totally different, different yeah. vibe. No, definitely. Like, the 90s was amazing, though. UPN, which I don't know if you know. Of what, course, oh, you I do know, UPN. of course, because know, UPN is UPN. gone from I know existence. W-W-O-R. Oh, okay, you do. You okay, yeah. All right, here? great, great, yeah, great. Sure. Well, like the '90s was amazing for black television, you know. Like, and it said that it uh, reversed in 2000, 
you know and now we're in 2017 or 2016 maybe that's when blackish or all these or um, insecure yeah. all these black shows resurgence barely a resurgence you know it's kind of sad was there really th that much of like yeah and tell me a show between 2016 that, that was, was a black show yeah i have to th i have to think on you have it. to think yeah, I know. Obviously, well, there, I guess the '90s there were more for sure. Yep. Martin Living Single. Yep. Yep. Uh, Bernie Mac had a show. St Steve Hardy had a show. Steve Harvey. Yeah. What about uh, Malcolm uh, and Eddie? Oh Remember yeah. Malcolm and Eddie. Oh um, uh, no, Malcolm I don't Jamal remember. Warner and Eddie Griffin. Wow, no, I did not. That I did on, not. Uh, no, no. See, sister, yeah. sister, sister, sister. Hang with Mr. Yeah, um, uh, cool, uh, smart kid, smart guy. With the, with the little Maury kid, you know, smart guy. He's a smart guy. Which one was that? Smart guy. It was like T and Tamara. They had a little oh, brother. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about the character on the show. Yeah. It, yeah. Like it's a, show's called Smart Guy, but it's their little it was brother. A, it was a spin off of. Was it a spin off? No, of no. Guy? He just had his own show. They're just he, like a family had, that sister, made stars. Sister, yeah. he, he played like a like a kind of a nerdy kid. Maybe, <laughs> oh, smart yeah. Kid. Um, Marcus Houston. He was That's Roger. He was Roger. Go home, Roger. And he did some music after that. Oh, too. that kid. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about their. Like, maybe I'm thinking about someone else. I don't know. Uh, but, I'm losing my mind. But yeah, like, yeah, I no, do no, remember Roger. He like, was like the annoying neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but growing Hip up, there's so many Hip -hop awesome, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah just a uh, well, family matter. There you I go. know. That was like uh, late 80s, I guess I came out. Um, yeah. TJF. Yeah. Um, see, we could say all of that. And then now, what can yeah. we say? You know, maybe like, it's sad. Maybe it's just because I feel like I didn't watch as much TV in like those maybe those years and like no bro you how many shows did he tell me right now yeah like, this, they're all that was, 90s. that was like yeah like yeah. that was like ten shows right there like in a span of boom 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 now there's just I feel like so much content and so much opportunity out there for and there's still not yeah there's still not enough no and diversity, still not but, yeah diversity exactly but it's I think it's I think it's changing I think it's changing yeah no it's just baby it's steps. just weird how things um how it mapped out you know yeah i didn't expect it and you know i didn't expect it growing up but like that's why um well i guess we're gonna go back to will, uh, will smith i guess sure. like that of all those shows that's the show that got me the most because i was able to relate with him the most because i'm a tall slender guy and i like i i feel like i like resemble him the most out of all those people and i was like it was just the trajectory that i wanted for myself People tend to connect people connect with people who you know look like them to, to you know of to course something. and that's, and that's why we thing. need representation in television. Sure, I'm a television professional, so that's why I have to say these things. For sure, for sure. What about um, what about some of the other things that Will Smith has done besides uh, Fresh Prince? I mean, what about any of the movies that he's done? Oh yeah, well, other? you know he done cool movies like Independence Day was cool. Um, uh, he, you know, like he made fun cool movies i like um what can i say it's more about him for you it's more about the fresh prince and and, and it's and more the about the drive and it's more about what you can do as a person like like he, he was a movie star like that it, the movies that he made didn't really matter much to me it was fun to see him there but it's, it's because it's him yeah it's because he was able to do it have you ever met him no, and I and that's gonna be it's one of my goals. Will, yeah, if you're out there, you uh, it's hang out gonna with Josh happen. Kuzma. Yeah, like, he's a it's charismatic guy. Yeah, in his late twenties, he's a man now, so you guys <laughs> yeah. can sit and you know say that one more time. Just have some tequila together and, and you know hang out and shoot. Yeah, Will shit. Smith. Well, yeah, I'm, I'd love to have a like what I don't. I'm not sure if you drink. I'm not sure what you do, sir. But I'd like to hang out with you yeah, sometime. Yeah, if you want talk. tea or coffee or mm -hmm. you know, yeah, anything, smoothie, whatever. whatever. Just hang is, out. Yeah, shake your hand. Down. Have a good conversation. Just what like what would you, you know. what would you say to him if you? If you saw him, or what him. I say to him? I mean, well, kind of you know, much reiterating what you're saying to me. Yeah, well, you know, at first I'll say thank you, but I'm pretty sure he's heard that before. I would just want to know what he wants out of life and what he's learned, like the deepest things that he's learned within his travels. He's got, he has some good speeches on like YouTube or whatever and from interviews where he's talking about, you know, these types of things philosophy life philosophy and yeah stuff. it's definitely worth checking it, out it's great that he has a youtube and instagram now um it just uh i was just on instagram maybe uh this morning or yesterday and he had a post on jazzy jeff and this other um mc that 
like he worked with uh, in order when he was being fresh prince like before the fresh prince of bel-air like the show like when he was working on his music and it really put on to the light that jazzy jeff and the other mc i'm not sure his name i never ever heard of him until i saw that video they're the one that propelled will smith he will wasn't even a rapper back then but uh, you're like there he was working on scrapped hiding in the shadows yeah of of dj jazzy jeff you know and it's just it's it's great that you could say that and put that on the air that you know he wasn't a one-man show they propelled him they they just saw his talent and they pushed him is that what it is um i'm not even sure if it's that i'm i feel like he wrote on the curt curt yeah. coattails you know like he just wrote on it and then he you know he found himself That's like- but but it's surrounding yourself with good people as well you know because they're still tight you know and it's good that he could still tell people this you know there's honesty there's transparency yeah that sounds like a little bit like uh like what's his name uh dr dre and you know, you know dr dre's history in nwa at all like he uh, was sort of like uh it's not straight out of compton it, i don't know I don't if that's know, like well, historical he, he more like a producer like behind the scenes and like doing like other kind of like glammy pop music or whatever and then he it's like they you know ended up you know becoming more of the the front so to speak. i'm not sure i feel like he was always a musical genius um he was uh, always mixing oh for sure yeah sure and he's working on yeah. tons of stuff yeah um the yeah like his rapping he he's not a rapper so people write for him that's yeah. all i could say but but no it's funny because like i feel like the rest of the country you know when they f- first start to hear of a big actor movie star musician where someone like breaks through and gets big yeah. they think oh overnight sensation overnight success yeah, but they're but, not seeing what's going on like behind the scenes that's like, true you know yeah. writer musician whatever they create to you know creative path you're taking mm-hmm. people are not seeing the all the long hours going in behind the scenes yeah exactly and it's crazy that, like, he got the first grammy in hip-hop or rap you know like you're talking about will smith, will smith yeah. yeah he got the first grammy and and even like to this day, like there isn't that many people that are uh, musicians. Uh, I mean, black men that are musicians and you know, multi talented. Besides uh, uh, Donald Glover, you know, like he he made it now, but before that it was Will Smith. Yeah, Jamie Fox is pretty talented. Too. Jamie Fox is hella talented. <laughs> hella fucking talented. He's crazy talented. Yeah, that guy. I yeah. like when when you see people like you know Will Smith or even Jamie Fox, you know. Mm-hmm. on television or you know performing music the guy yeah these guys can sing these guys yeah are funny they're charming mm-hmm. what dicks <laughs> i could capture <laughs> yeah the thing is that, of that for yeah one day one moment a week imagine the work behind all that yeah. you know that's no, what's so sure. fucking crazy you know like um uh jamie fox he's from juilliard you know like he he's a musician through and through like he knows so many instruments and he could do he's so talented in singing um yeah and then he just learned how to act and you know like yeah, they uh, yeah, Tell they me. sacrifice mm-hmm. sacrifice a lot for sure. Besides, even the hard work, just like when you're that famous, like you don't have you don't have a life. I can't, you can't. Jamie Foxx can't go to Whole Foods, or maybe he can. I don't know. Depends which one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depends which true. Whole Foods, but I guess <laughs> LA is Valley bit, maybe. LA's a little think, bit of a different vibe, you know. Sometimes people just walk around. People are people. Nobody bothers, and you know, nobody bothers anyone. I think everyone's just used to it here. It's funny being out in LA. Are you from here? Not from New York. I'm from Long Island originally, but I've been. Oh, here a oh, long you're time. from New York. Okay, yeah. you're from New York. Okay. But I've been out here a long time for sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I try not to to bother people too much on the street, but if I, you know, what it is, if I had something to say to someone, I would I would say it. If I was if I was a big fan or you know whatever, I'm that guy. I'll yell a movie quote at some actor when they're walking by. You know, I I wish I had That's, more of that. Is gusto. that less annoying than asking for a photo or a picture or autograph or something? What were you saying? No, I, I wish I had more of that gusto back in the day. Like, I, I walked past so many, like, celebrities being out here. And um, when I first went through here, I, I guess it was still, like, a little starstruck. I yeah. didn't understand that they're just, like, you know, they just live here. Well, you if know? you have nothing to say to anyone, I mean, like, a stranger, you're yeah. not going to bother a stranger if you have nothing to say to anyone. But there, That's true. Were there, were there, you know, celebrities or public figures there is, um, by that you regret not yeah, saying anything um, to? Yeah, two. Two that I could think of. Uh... One, uh, yeah, right. No, no, I'll tackle the guy. <laughs> no, um, don't put a straining on her on this guy. Uh, um, Please. I went to Comic Con last year and I walked past Tyler the Creator and his whole posse. Like, I looked at his face and I'm like, wow, that's a, a chin that is very distinct. Yeah. 
and then I double take him, and then I was like, "Whoa, that's Tyler the Creator!" And I'm like, oh, "I didn't know that." Like his jawline is fucking incredible. Like it's like sharp as a razor when you see it in person. But um, he's uh yeah, but I saw him in person, and I want to, and I should have yelled, "Fuck you, Tyler!" You know, <laughs> I should have, I should have, and he would have loved it. You know. Yeah. Uh, but I I didn't like I you know um. And I saw a lot of stars when I went to uh, to Comic Con. That was um that was a fun day. Uh, but the second one was um I I bumped into um shit his name is mining uh name dropping uh, over uh, here. We're name a dropping. blank right now. Yes, uh he's the most famous scientist right now. Oh, it's just Stephen Hawking. Maybe no, bro. Did. No, oh, Bill, astrophysicist. Oh, um, uh, I know what you're talking about God, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Can, yes. Yeah. I I bumped into him Neil deGrasse Tyson um and i yelped bro like i've never done anything like yeah. that like like usually i just like oh okay cool whatever bro like i just i don't say anything i just look and i'm like oh, cool like sometimes like if it's a cute girl i wink or whatever but like but yeah but with him i yelped oh, oh. <laughs> and he noticed i was like oh. yeah you're, yeah i was freaking the beat. fuck your out dude to beat. like he is oh. yeah he would be someone to, to be definitely an interesting person to to, to talk to I might not know what the hell he's talking about, but yeah. uh, you know, it would be interesting to some yeah. people. That is an experience, you know. That would be an experience. What is Will Smith up to these days? Um, are you? I do. Do you follow? I do, do, like, I follow do you, Instagram. Yeah, how, is it, yeah. That's what I was gonna ask. How do you follow? Uh, just follow. What's the easiest way to just follow yeah, people's um, Instagrams on social media? I guess. Yeah. Um. Which is it's great that he did that only this year that he started doing it, and um, <laughs> um, like. It's funny talk, having this huge conversation about Will Smith because I've never talked so much about Will Smith. He's always been like a role model to me, but just like within me, you know, it's personal. Yeah. But um, it, so it is funny talking to him about him in this extent. Uh, yes, I do follow him right now. And what he's doing, I just know that he turned 50 and for his 50th, he, uh, he bungee jumped into the Grand Canyon off a helicopter. Saw, you saw, saw that? I saw something about that on yeah. social media. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, just yeah. talking about like, uh, well, like when you're skydiving and you see the red like. He was talking about the um, before he did all this, like in the, before his fiftieth. He was talking about a story and like what um what made him want to do this for his fiftieth. Um, he went uh, skydiving for the first time, and he was scared. Like he he thought it was a joke. Like pretty much, I think he like went out with his friends. And then they're like, oh, let's let's go skydiving tomorrow. It's like, oh fuck yeah, yeah let's do yeah. it, whatever. And then they're like, wait, wait, what? It's like the morning comes. You're like, wait, where? The friends like, thought it was like, a joke, or Will thought? Will it was thought it was a joke. He, oh, he didn't actually. The think friends, this was the friends happen. pitched it, and, the, and yeah. well, yeah, this um, what I recall from the from the story. And then, and he wakes up, and there's a plane, and they're like, wait, he's like, what? Like we're, we're actually doing this? So, like he sits in the plane. He's like, what? We're actually doing this? And then they're like, the doors open, and he's right there. He's strapped up to like you know the the instructor. And he just looks out, and you can't second guess after that. The green light goes, and you have to jump, or you're gonna mess up everybody else. So this doesn't sound like it was a like profound life decision by Will Smith to do this. It seemed like he was roped into it by his friends. Well, yeah, yeah. And the thing is that like he, he you know, he got out of the plane. He had to. He got out of the plane, and the the feeling, the sensation of being like weightless, and and seeing the sun in the horizon, it's just like it's just like an amazing experience. It was phenomenal. That's true. Yeah, and exactly. uh, it's, it's something that I haven't done yet. Yeah, I was but I ask want you to. If you've yeah. ever gone sky no, it's something I really want to do. I've been oh, I to have. Do it for years. Yeah, I have. Okay, gone you know the experience. Diving. Yeah. What? But I I didn't have the best experience. But really, uh, um, I'll, just, tell I'll, me, just, yeah, I'll just yeah. Tell say, me your experience though. I want to hear. Well, I'll tell you. The, I'll tell you the quick version. Sure. Basically, don't go skydiving hungover. I'll I'll just say that. Okay. And I was too hungover and headachey to um to even really be nervous about the skydive. I was just trying to not be sick in the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to maintain. It was it was I was with a buddy of mine and in New York, and it was like my last day before going back to LA. You know, back home. So and I promised him we'd go skydiving. So I'm like, I'm in. But I did have a few too many the night before. So oh, I yeah. So I was not feeling well and. You know, you're, I'm in the plane and I feel fine. I feel okay. You know, and then I'm, my feet are dangling out of the, uh, out of the, out of the plane there. I'm like, I guess this is really happening. Of course, I have a tandem, and you know, the uh -huh. instructor's yeah. attached to me. And we're doing the free fall, and I'm like, holy shit, is it gonna be like this the whole time? And then I realize, oh yeah, the parachute opens. So the parachute <laughs> opens. I open my eyes, and I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. I'm looking at like Eastern Long Island, the swamps and bodies yeah. of water. It's 
kind of cloudy. It was not, you know, the most scenic uh, skydive. I'm sure mm. if you go in on Australia or in the Possibly. Gulf of Mexico. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, Gulf you, of Mexico you'll, too. You'll yeah. see, you'll see better views. But yeah. I was fine. I was feeling okay. And then about 300, 500 feet or so, be, you know, before we land. The guy starts steering, oh, yeah. steering uh, the oh. parachute to get to like our landing spot. Sorry, like, turning that tummy of yours. Yeah, I'm full like, of I'm, like, you, I'm oh. like, you don't want to do that, bro. Uh-oh. Bad idea. Uh-oh. So then, uh, you know, about a hundred feet before landing, you know. No, you didn't yuck. Oh yeah. No way. Yeah. I think it mostly got on his. <laughs> legs. Gave him a shower. I Damn, it, dude. I think it only got on his legs. <laughs> on his legs. A little Damn. bit. He was like, oh, dude. Mm. But I think later that night at the bar, he probably told all his buddies about it and wore oh, okay. like a badge of honor. But they had to hose me down and hose the gear honor. down. I wonder how many times that happened. Was, oh, you had to get hosed down? And there was, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh shit. But and then there was um, some uh, some more on the on the way home and whatnot. And then I got home and I took a nap for three hours and I woke up and I felt fine. Wow. But yeah, so I, I would go skydiving again, but I would do it completely sober, uh-huh. not hungover. And uh, yeah, maybe a little yeah no, and then not, then I'll probably have more of a conclusive positive experience. Maybe I just got nauseous because the guy. No, I was sick. Yeah, yeah. I I do have motion sickness a little bit, but I think especially that day, uh, there was a, there was a reason for it. You should go skydiving. I yeah, definitely, definitely. For me, I feel like skydiving. If you go skydiving, you don't have to do anything else because everyone will, you know, you don't have to bungee jump. You don't got to scuba dive. You don't got to okay. get on a motorcycle. Oh, I do want to scuba dive and motorcycle. Yeah. yeah but do. if you go skydive, yeah. you jump out of a plane from 13,000 plus feet. No one's going to question your. Oh, your yeah. Your cones, to, if that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you know what I mean? So I, I did that. So I don't have to do anything else for the rest of my life. I don't have to yeah. fucking get in a. Uh, Formula One car and drive 300 miles an hour yeah, or whatever. But you want to, though. Well, no. I want to. What? Yeah. 300 miles per hour? What? You want to do that? Maybe. <laughs> if it's a safe straightaway or yeah. whatever. And, you yeah. know, if it's. Yeah. If it's. Yeah, uh, there's some, uh, you know, parameters or whatever for this, yeah. for sure. You won't crash and burn. No. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's been good talking to you about, about Will Smith. It's been. Oh, yeah. This is fun. And, yeah. And a good time, and uh, maybe I'll follow Will Smith on Instagram. Maybe I'll get on Instagram. You know what? This podcast. Oh, you're not on Instagram? On, okay. This podcast it will be on Instagram. Yeah, that's for good. sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. Yeah, and if you want to, if you have anything you want to plug or any anything, any your social media or how we can uh, contact you. Sure. Yeah. Um. Well, my name is Joshua Charisma. My Instagram is Josh Got Naked. Yes. Oh, and boy. um, I um am working on a YouTube. I'm vlogging. Uh. One of the things I do is uh, personal training, and I want to help people out that way. So if you want to follow me, Joshua Charisma on YouTube, I have a a, a vlog that's called The Charismatic Journey. So uh, if you want to follow me, that'd be amazing. Uh, comment me, and you know we can keep a conversation going. And Sounds thanks, good. Sounds good. We'll talk soon, my friend. All right. Later. Later. So there you have it, my interview with Joshua Charisma. Hope you enjoyed it. Recording it was a blast. I hope someday that Joshua really does get to meet Will Smith and that it goes well and that he doesn't wet himself or anything like that. Anyway, for now, you can follow People We Love on Instagram and Twitter. Just look for the red logo with the white letters, People We Love, or you can search my name, Adam Choit. And if you're enjoying the show, please leave a positive iTunes review. I would very, very much appreciate that. And thanks again for listening and for the support. Talk soon. Talk soon.